What about the laning phase with the Claude? Very good. I mean, it's not very good. After it's, it's level okay. four? Huh? Against the Claude, it's still good? Honestly, Brody against the Claude, it's kind of like uninteractive. The Claude just wants to clear minion and then just go somewhere else. Like, probably going mid, gold, mid, gold is the Brody the one that wants to deal a lot of damage to the Claude. But because they have the chip, maybe the laning phase, uh -huh. no, one really no one really cares. You just want to get that gank at level, uh, at minute three, and then just try to get a big advantage. This time, they have a lot of damage in the early game. So it's not just Smart Omega Empress that has the pocket picks down, but it looks like Thea's Another victory feature. for the Empresses. Casters, take it away. Thank you so much, Eterna and LaFell. Nice new tracks back on the desk for game number two in the semifinals. It's a best of five between VSG and Smart Omega Empresses. Now, we saw last game Smart Omega kicked it off quick. They did not let their foot <laughs> off the gas, Naisu, at oh, all. From mid to bottom to top, they were everywhere doing everything all at once. VSG, what's the answer? They, they do bring a bit more of an aggressive comp, sustainable as well. They have some macro potential here. Yep. Um, is this going to be the answer? I think it could be, uh, especially the fact that you know, earlier, even with a signature pick for Kiyoe, that Benedetta, she wasn't able to utilize it the way that they wanted it to uh, because of just how much momentum was built up early on from Smart Omega Empress. The Julian has been performing wonders for any teams that do draft the hero, even back when we saw it in MSC quite a bit. And I think that gives you enough early damage potential to possibly get the ball rolling, right? And that's something you want to be able to do. My biggest question is this chip pick who has kind of fallen off, you know, since we got to see him and the Lu Yi pick so much just in MSC. And then now I feel like teams are still kind of struggling on making the chip work through the way they want they want it to. Shortcut's still an amazing, you know, ultimate that you can bring the team in. But against this lineup that Smart Omega Empress has, you, all, you have to be super careful on the timing of the shortcut because if you come in and then you get set up with a Minoian Fury or into the last Insanity or heck, the even Eternal Guard. an Eternal Guard, like, that is not going to be good for the lineup that is VSG here. Yeah, we've seen some of these an these heroes be the answers to the picks like the Lu Yi's, to the picks like the Chips, because everyone pops up in one spot, and boom, you just knock them <laughs> up, you know? And that's that's the answer sometimes. So VSG definitely has to be careful about their timing. It might even be best to try to bait out a Minoan Fury, then drop the yeah. shortcut, things like that. Luckily, they do have this nether realm as well as, you know, a caution minute, a caution measure. So instead of maybe using it aggressively or anything like that, you wait for the known sphere or, or when you see the known sphere coming, that's when you pop it. It pretty much gives you that extra life to continue the fight and null out the big knockup. So as we move on, Turtle is up. VSG gonna be holding a small position. To get the control they're looking for. Marais, level four though. They're gonna go in with the Eternal Guard already. There's the Nether Realm. That's what they were waiting for. Shortcut gonna be dropped down too, but it's Manana that goes down first in the first blood. And they're all sent into the air as Kiyoe goes down as well and finds the shot on Gay Lee. So she's out of the picture and now Keshi chasing down for another kill, looking for the momentum oh. that they had last game. And Smart Omega Empress will find it with four kills and a turtle. Four kills, plus a turtle, plus position on the map. The kills are gonna go into the pockets. Two to Amore, one to Keshi, one to Mire. I mean, it's a good spread overall for Smart Omega Empresses. And it's already starting to look like a replay. Rianne now taking a little bit of damage. Oh, Shinoa, she's gonna go back with the BMI. But yeah, that's good that Rianne stayed alive there in that exchange. But I mean, look what that last minute got Smart Omega Empress. 2,000 gold lead already. This is very similar to what we saw in the previous game, Trex. Yeah, it's it's already very troublesome. Luckily, Rian was not in pa part of that slaughter. So still keeping gold, pacing with Shinoa here, because what we've seen a lot of time is gold laners can change the game state. So a lot of things are gonna already kind of put onto Rian's shoulders here. And having this Brody, we saw that it can work well, but you definitely can't take some early game deaths. You need to be able to get some of those items and you're normally gonna pick up the uh, Blade of Hepatus first. Then maybe if you wanna do it like we saw previously, pick up the Sky Piercer, look for some stacks. But since they're already behind four kills, Sky Piercer might not be the way to go because <laughs> it's going to be tough to get stacks in. Maybe you just go straight for the bot or something of that nature. Ooh, right, whoa. Send Gailey to the moon. Right in the kisser. <laughs> right in the kisser at that point, man. And this is the thing. I feel like even from the previous game, Gailey had the Minotaur. 
And it's more or less the same thing. Even with this chip, she's gone in two seconds. And that's not what you want to happen for VSG because every single time, Smart Omega Empress will make that play. And it, it just furthers the lead they have. And off that, they're going to get this extra gold from the turret. Possibly the turret if they stay down here long enough. Oh, man. And just bowling Rion. And goes Chip, though. Gay Lee. Gay Lee again. She's going to flicker forward. Actually, they want to fight this killway. Goes in two, but they can't find anything. There's the knockup, though. But no oh. fury is going to be used for Murray. She stays alive. She jumps back in. Blazing Duet into the penalty zone. They might be able to pick up a kill here. But the Nether Realm also keeping VSG alive. No one goes down in exchange. And after all those ultimates were expended, Turtle's now up. And after all those things were expended as well, they're losing a tower up in the top side. Nadayami should be able to take this out. A couple more hits. I mean, even if she doesn't take it out now, it's going down quickly soon. Back of the turtle, though. Crash course into Murray. Murray's going to get dragged a little bit by the stampede, but still, Eternal Guard going to be dropped down. She hops over the wall. Murray will be able to survive. Keshi just walks in, takes the turtle with the retribution. What is happening here? Everything is falling into place for Smart Omega Empress. That was a hold my beer moment right there. That was a <laughs> hold this for me, hold my phone moment. Walk in, click the retry, walk back to the jungle, do my thing. I mean, very clean by Keshi. And we've been seeing this, and this is, and one of the things about Kiyoe is Kiyoe normally does a great job in these neutral objectives, does a great job in my in like you know even by herself is able to come in and get these big steals so at this point victory song gamers once again they're already in a downward spiral in game two and they're gonna have to buy some time here do something luckily still rion sitting deathless only a level behind shinoa which yes yeah. it's bad but it's not as bad you know we're, we're doing what we can here for bsg but let's take a look at some of these items kiway did just get genius wand in which is huge but looking at her counterpart Keshi right now we've got wind talker going into a uh, endless battle next yeah i yeah, going into endless battle next Looks instead like of it. uh yeah hold on here in the bottom side murray Quite tanky, but will she be able to survive this? The shortcut comes in too. There's the penalty zone gonna find Shinoa. She has to flick her out. So a kill on the board now for VSG. Good decisive decision there to pick something up. And they could slowly start to put the pressure here. Trying to get this tier one turn in the bot lane. Shinoa tries to clear it with that blazing duet. They'll clear the minions out. So they hold on to the turret, but they lose the one in the mid. Yeah, man, and this is one of the things that Smart Omega Empress does so great. They start these fights in the off lanes, or they start these fights fights Turtle, 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 they actually need to get the kills in these fights when it's 5v3, you know, when it's 5v4. Last turtle of the game up right now. Do they even really try to contest this? They're at a big deficit. It could be risky. I think if they're going to have to pull this off again, it might just be up to a steal, possibly, because they're going to keep Rian there. She's been farmed up, like you mentioned, pretty well. That's probably a saving grace later on if they can make that work. She's going to make her way up now. They might want to join this because it is a Lord take. Ooh. And for Smart Omega Empress, they just waited for this to happen, and now they're going to go ahead and start it up, looking for their own setup. Rian's still not a part of this. She's just going to grab the buff, grab that orange buff. So right now, it's just kind of a standoff here. Yeah, and honestly, it might be the best play just to have Rian take orange buff. Might have even been a decent play to have Rian just play long lane, maybe get a tower of this, because as I said, this is a risky... This is a risky lord to try to contest. Smart Omega Damn Empress it. just really hitting their mid-game power spike. Keshi's going to be doing a lot. Amore's already doing <laughs> a lot. Nadayami's going to be super hard to kill. And right now, Victory Song Gamers, because they're behind, they have to play tight for this Nether Realm, and that's exactly what Mirei wants on this Minotaur. Try to get that big Minoan's Fury. So. Victory Song Gamers, I think it's in their best interest to just play this slow. Don't force anything. It's in their best interest to just get your minion waves, get a little bit more gold. Smart Omega Empress, on the other hand, I think it's in their interest to maybe rush this Lord. You don't want this game to go on too long. Yeah, I think they got enough information, and that's why you see them starting it up. Gaylee's still here, so she's going to go ahead and 
give this information to the team, but look at Rian, she's still down there. They can come in any time with the shortcut, though, and that's what they're going to play around. I wish that Rian actually was able to push that turret a little bit earlier on, but that's just going to be a Lord freely in the hands of Smart Omega Empress. All right. VSG does get one tower out of that push, but now they're going to be on the defensive mode. My guess is they lose at least two tier twos, possibly all three. Luckily, with that uh, bottom lane push, it might help stall this a little bit. But knowing Smart Omega Empress, they're going to freeze up these lanes and get a nice solid all the way around push. And the way they've been approaching the map in general, being kind of split up, running in twos and threes, they're going to get as much as they can. Back at the purple buff, though, Nadayami's frag armor does get procced. Smart Omega on the attack. Waiting for that Lord. It's going to go find that tier two now on the top side, but it's up to VSG. You know, do they have enough? It was still the Holy Crystal being worked on too by Keelway. And, you know, so far it's like even this, now, now that the Flask of the Oasis is picked up, a lot of the times just the heal alone from the Motivational Roar is enough to kind of negate the damage that they built up. That's the Holy Crystal now being locked in. So she's at least on point for that, but can they stay in this game even with the lead? The shields are going to pop here in these base turrets. They go in with the last insanity, going to push them back a little bit further. They pop the half health already, trying to possibly get the Nether Realm out, but they show, go in one more time. There's the Nether Realm. That's everything Smart Omega Empress wanted. They jump in, oh. Murray goes in with the Middle and Fury. They find a couple kills off of it again in a decisive manner. The 11 minute mark. Smart oh. Omega Empress still fighting it out. Keshi, though, will go down. They couldn't end the game here. A little overzealous on the push. They still have waves coming in, though. Yeah, they still Smart got Omega waves. Empress. They still got Shinoa. They still have Shinoa. Synchro and Kaylee here together. What can they do? Just the two of them. I think it's just going to be some more base turrets, though. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. <laughs> Minimum back on the map now. Smart Omega Empress knows that the push is over, but they got so much more than I thought they would. I thought maybe they pop a couple shields on the inhibitor. Maybe they get one inhibitor. And Victory Song Gamers, you know, I think once they lost the tower, once they got the Lord down, it was time to back off. They stayed a little bit too long. The knockup came in. The uh, the Nether Realm got baited out, and Nadeyami did such a great job at using that last insanity just as a zone back to yeah. guarantee the inhibitor. Right, zone them all just enough so that they their team can get a couple more shots off on the inhibitor. Once that top inhibitor goes down, it cracks open the base. Keshi gets the kill on Rian, and that's when it really kind of sealed the deal for him. Yeah, at least Rian gets a couple kills, you know, in the exchange. Because I think at this point, you you really have to rely on the fact that. We're almost in a situation because it's almost 10,000 gold difference again, where it's like we just have to get what we can. And I feel like that last defense was pretty much that. You know, uh, it could have been a game ending push as well. But like I said, Smart Omega Empress wanted to just push it a little bit further, got punished. And so this might be a breath of, of hope here for VSG to go ahead and turn this game around. Again, they're in a position where. Can they actually find space here in this Lord take? Or is it just going to go in the hands of Smart Omega Empress and then have to defend it once again in the base? I think they have to go ahead and evaluate that, and that's why Gailey's going to make her way up here. Again, she can drop down that shortcut and allow Rian to even make her way up here for the fight. What are they going to do here? It's a quarter of the health. They're going to spot him out already. The BMI going to be used by Shinoa to back. And once again, still kind of taking their time with the Lord take. Not Ayanami keeping them at bay. None already less than half health oh. just alone for not Ayanami. And they get them low enough that they're actually going to push them back completely and just take the Lord here. Great plays here. Great decisions from Smart Omega Empress. At this point, it feels like Smart Omega Empress wants them to come and contest. Yeah, like they're it feels looking like for it. the bait. They're looking for the. We don't even really want Lord right now. Come on, because they can chip them enough down, as we just saw, just by getting close to Lord. And at any moment, Smart Omega could just turn the tables, attack, leave the Lord behind, attack them, and it could be devastating for VSG. So VSG really has to watch out how they approach this. With that, they might still get this last turret even before the Lord makes its way. No minions there, though, just yet, so they hold on a little bit longer. Kiyadam picked up also here. A little extra damage to Divine Glaive, but now for Smart Omega Empress, fully locked and loaded here. They push in with the Lord. Their eyes set, just going into the base. That last turret going to be going down. Lord almost done, almost worked with. VSG, can they pull off a defense? Gailey has to flicker out, and they still wait. These waves pushing in. They can see that 
Sword going to be used by QA. She has to go heal up. Netherrealm already dropped down to a penalty zone. Going to find multiple members, but still smarter way Empress going to fight back. Keshi picks up a kill. Minun falls as well. There's the last insanity, and that will be game two again in the hands of Smart Maya Empress. There's the last insanity. And there could be just one more game here. Smart Omega Ladies and gentlemen, Smart Omega Empress once again on that express train to get to that grand finals. This was not as quick as game number one. It was a 14 minute game. But from that early stage of the game, you can even see that it was dominated by the Empresses themselves. Honestly, it's really just about them understanding their draft. And yes, I understand how they've been playing this game. It looks like VSG, they're having a hard time grasping the concept of what their draft is really trying to do. Because essentially, it was honestly the very first turtle fight where Smart Mega Empress was able to pull VSG into a very bad spot for them, do what their draft is supposed to do, and then go in for a big fight. And as you saw, even the first turtle was like, that's GG, that's game. Everyone got, got, got wiped out, and then there's no way for them to fight back. But what did you think about the draft in particular, right? What, what was, what was, you were talking about like win con.